Howdy folks, my name is Searsha and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. So this morning I am going to be stepping quite a bit outside of my comfort zone. As you can see this is not a bug smasher, this is the A320neo, the Airbus A320neo which stands for New Engine Option, it is the up-engined version of the Airbus A320. Now this version right here is the fly-by-wire mod. It is a fantastic mod, which I will link in the description below. We are gonna be flying a United Airlines flight. As you can see, this is flight 375 from Cincinnati CVG up to Chicago's O'Hare. Uh, I've got this set up to fly the actual route that the aircraft flies through Simbrief. We're gonna be pushing a little bit later than the actual flight does. Uh, this is about 8 o'clock or so in the morning. The actual flight departs about 7.30-ish. And to be honest, that one doesn't actually use a NEO. It's just an A320, if I recall. I don't think United has the the NEO, if I'm honest. But anyway, uh, so we're just going to go ahead and see what happens. Uh, I'm going to basically do my first ever airline flight for you guys, just like it is here. So I will see you guys on board, and we'll get this thing started up. And welcome aboard. So this is the first flight of the morning for this airplane, so we are going to be cold and dark. We've got the catering truck getting uh, the airplane reprovisioned. Baggage guys are getting everything loaded, so we are going to go ahead and start getting this thing ready to go. I uh, will follow the checklist in the game because it's pretty comprehensive, and we'll get this thing started. So just bear with me just a few minutes, follow along if you wish. What we're going to do with this one is I'm going to come up here, I'm going to get my checklist open, and as you can see there is quite a bit uh, on here. So we're going to go ahead and start with option one, preliminary cockpit check, engine master switches are all off, they're right down here, they're both off, mode selector is norm, it's right here in the center, that's normal, and I can what I can do is I can click this little eyeball icon and I can go and I can see it, it's on, just like that, liner gear lever is currently down, wipers are off, Co-pilot side, pilot side, they're both off. Battery switches are going to go ahead and come on. Hear the airplane, airplane powering up. And you can see this little red light, or I'm sorry, green light right here. This is available. This is for the external power cart. It is available. We're going to turn that on. And you can see we put all of our lights on. And we're going to now perform the APU fire test, which is right up here. The APU fire button is this test button right here. I did not want to open the cover, I'm going to push the button. And that works. So what we're going to do is before we start the APU, we want to make sure that the catering truck is clear. So we will assume that they are finished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dismiss them. And the aft door is closing and they're backing away, so we are good to keep on going. So now that that's done, we will go ahead and get the APU started. And that's going to be done as thus. I'm going to zoom this out a bit so you can see it. So right here, this is going to be our APU switches right here. And the way we start this on is we're going to turn the master switch on. And down here on the panel, this is the APU panel, I'm waiting for this to say flap open. Right here in the middle. It should here in a minute, I would imagine. Flap open, just like that. That means it's ready to start. We're going to come up here and push the start button. And that's going to get the APU started up. APU is spooling up. I'm going to be looking for a good start, which I should have in here in just a minute. Voltage is coming on, so now the APU is on and providing power. Once the generator is available, I'm going to come up here, and we're going to go ahead and turn the bleed on to get the air conditioning going. Cockpit lights as required. Park brake is currently on. Pressure checks. Flaps are up. Speed bricks are disarmed and retracted. If I look down, that handle right there, if I pull this up, they're armed, down, it's disabled, or it's not. Probe and heat is auto. That should already be auto. Yeah, it's already auto. 
Target selectors required, we don't need. We're gonna extinguish the overhead white lights. And it's on. Now it's auto, just like that. Uh, AP bleeds is on. Now we're going to extinguish all the white lights, which is gonna be crew supply for here for crew oxygen. These are the fuel pumps. Just like that. These are all check, exterior check perform. We've already done our walk around basically, is what that's for. So now the cockpit is prepared. We're ready to begin. ADAR is going to be nav. These are right up here. Turn all these on. There's one, two, three. That's going to start the uh, navigation systems aligning. As you can see right there, it says IR in alignment greater than seven minutes. So it's going to be just a little bit to get it started. But I think it's time to finish the startup procedures. As required. Which is right now, we are going to go ahead and turn on, nope, I do not want that on, uh, nav and logo lights for now, uh, and then the rest will turn on when we're getting ready to go. No smoking signs are going to be auto, which is right here. I believe that's already, oh yeah, it was already, was already, was auto. There, seatbelt signs are coming on. Emergency ed exit lights, which is right here, are going to be armed. Overhead lights on. Dome light to right so we can talk to the ground crew. As required, batteries one and two off and on. What we're doing here is gonna be checking to make sure that we've got power. As you can see, the batteries do indeed have power. Pumps are checked. Uh, fire test for the engine, so engine one. And two. Looking good. Put a normal maintenance mode. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get the flight computer. Oh, let me turn my tablet on. Do, 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 do. Go here and turn that on. What we're going to do when this comes up is I'm going to load my flight. This says from SimBrief, which I have a SimBrief flight. There it is. It's loaded. I got the weather here at Cincinnati, got the weather up in Chicago, and we've got the live weather down here on this map. There's a squall line south of us. So we shouldn't have to worry about that too much. We should be in good shape. If I come over here and click on OFP, here's my flight plan. Just like that. Weight change, 20 taken off out of flight uh, 27, 27, and then approaching uh, Chicago uh, 28 right. So we are all set and ready to go. Let's go ahead and dismiss the baggage trucks. We'll get ready to get this thing pushed back, okay? All right, so the jetway is away. The doors are closed. The passenger brief is going to start any moment now. We're going to go ahead and get this thing ready to get out of here and get pushed back. So I'm going to go ahead and call the tug. And while we wait for the tug, we're going to go ahead and look up here. I'm going to go ahead and turn my rotating beacon on. We're going to come off external power because we're getting ready to push. All right, so as we back out, we're gonna go ahead and come on down here. I'm gonna flip my engine ignition switch down here to start. We're gonna start engine number two by flipping this up. Engine number two, we start first because that's where the hydraulic pump is for everything, basically. Now, I'm the one that has to steer the tug, so. We'll be steering the tug here in just, just a second. I gotta get this thing pointed off to my right. Engine's coming online. Wrong way, this way.
OP pushback completed. Please set your parking brake. Parking brake set. Parking brake set. Lowering aircraft. Ground. You may disconnect. OK, sir. Clear to disconnect. Pin has been removed. See you at the side. Have a good flight. Holding position waiting for the visual. Thank you and goodbye. And we wait just a few moments. Engine 2 has got a good start. So now we're going to do engine 1. There they go. They're clear. Get this thing ready for go ready to take off by setting flaps 1. We're going to arm the ground spoilers and set our auto brake to max just in case. I'm going to flip my uh, display back to ARC and turn my constraints on so I can see what altitude they want me at basically. We've got a good start. We are ready to go. So we'll be taking off in runway 27 today. If I pull up my VFR map here it's going to take it a second to pop up, but it will be there. I zoom in. Number 27 is right here. So basically what I'm going to do is I have to just turn that way and go right over across to it. Easy peasy. So I will certainly admit this is something new for me. I've always really enjoyed um, the airline aspect of these games. I just never really have had the confidence to, to do it with any kind of regularity. But now that I'm doing this a little more reg often and, and filming these videos and whatnot, I just figured, why not? Let's give it a try and and uh, get better at it. You know, that's what I wanted to do. So that's what we're going to do today. Come on over here to the runway and get ready to get out of here. Clouds are starting to dissipate just a bit, but not much. Not much. All right, here's the hold short line. Set the parking brake. I'm gonna come up here, make sure that my APU is turned off. APU bleed is off. Master's off. We're on the generators now, so we should be in good shape for that. Take a look at my down here. Signs are on, cabins check, spoilers are armed, which is right. Are they already armed? Oh, already armed. Already armed. Wheels looking good. Config test flaps are takeoff. We are at one degree flaps. Our, we are set. I'm going to go ahead and get my altitude set for. 12,000 feet to start with. Flight director's already on. Looking good. We are ready to go. All right. So we are ready to go. We are basically already got clearance. Runaway turn lights are on. Strobe lights are auto. Landing lights are coming on. Takeoff for the nose wheel is on. thing moving. Flaps are one. Turn my ignition back to normal. I should have done that before, but I didn't. Set up. Just hold it right here. We are facing the right direction. Our flight director is on. Everything jives. Everything looks good up there. All right. So, take a look down at our thrust levers. 40% power, make sure the engines spool up. And they do. Take off power. Here's 
180. 100. 120. V1. VR. We rotate. Thrust down to climb. Turn just a shade to the right. I'm following my flight director there. We're in the soup, so we can't see. And we are out and away. Looking like we are good on this climb out. Airplane's doing what we want it to do. Altitude looks good so far. Power is set properly. Go ahead and disarm the ground spoilers. Now that we're up here. And now that we're up here, we're going to go and roll this up. 22,000 feet is what our cruise altitude is. We're going to go ahead and let her keep on climbing. We are almost at our cruising altitude, so we'll be giving the cabin crew a chance to do their thing and get the uh, snack service started. And we'll uh, just let her, uh, let her cruise on through. So once again, welcome to the A320. As I said before, this is the, uh, the first time I've actually flown an airplane like this, at least in a setting like this. I have been practicing with this airplane quite a bit over the last couple of weeks. Um, mainly because it didn't really look like a complete dweeb when I put this thing up on YouTube. And I've come to really enjoy it quite a bit. I think that the, the, the folks at Fly-By-Wire who put, this, who put this, this airplane together just did an absolutely phenomenal job. I've been watching videos on YouTube and with, regarding this airplane and, and, and watching videos put out by actual Airbus pilots. Who, who really like it too, and it's just it's just absolutely fantastic. And it's free, it's a freeware airplane. These guys that did such wonderful work on an airplane that they're not charging money for, which is just astounding to me. And I'm gonna leave a link in the description below if you wanna go check it out for yourself. It's so much better than the default um, Airbus in the game. And it's, it's just fantastic. All the switches all work, everything looks just amazing. It's, it's absolutely fantastic, and I've learned more about the Airbus flying this airplane and reading stuff online than I ever knew in the past, and I, I truly wish that I had a chance to, to actually sit in a cockpit like this and just do it and just experience it, you know? But Flavio Wire did such a great job. It's such an amazing, uh, amazing model. Absolutely fantastic. You're gonna do. You're doing yourself a disservice if you don't don't check it out. So go check it out. So we're coming up on our cruising altitude here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look up here, and we're gonna turn our seatbelt signs off. We're gonna go ahead and begin our uh, refreshment service. We've reached our cruising altitude, so just sit back and enjoy the ride. It is 
astounding the weather out there today. Man, those clouds look rough. Making our turn to the north. Start heading towards Chicago. Looks like we are... Let's see, 28 miles from our next waypoint. 263 miles total to uh, Chicago. So we'll be there here before you know it. I do want to thank everybody for hanging out with me on this, uh, this flight. And I certainly appreciate your support so far. I've really had a great time putting these videos together and just, you know, getting better at everything, more or less. It's, um, it's been a challenge in some aspects, but I've, I've, really, I've really started to take to it, I think, and it's, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I'm not terribly popular, unfortunately. I don't have a huge amount of views. But I love what I do, and I, I'll keep doing it as long as possible. I just I love putting these things together and doing this, and it's it's an it's an amazing feeling to me to be able to share my passion for aviation with you guys, and that you're here to enjoy it with me. I know that I'm not quite as clean or as uh, as well put together, so to speak, as uh, some of the other flight sim uh, creators out there, but I like to think I got the passion for it, if nothing else, so it's um, it's been an experience so far, and I'm just, I'm just happy to be here, so thank you so much for stopping by and, and hanging out with me for this flight. It should be a good one, I think. So I figured while we had the time, I would kind of discuss a little bit of the flight plan they've got us flying today. Uh, as you can see on the display, the little white dots, that's traffic that's around us out there. Um, most of those guys are above us, he's below us, he's above us, he's way above us. So we're not going to worry about them just yet, but over here I've got my, you can see my flight plan. There's the bonnet, fridge, uh, Watson, and then up through and then over the lake. Into Chicago. They've got us coming in on uh, 28 right, I believe. If I zoom in here enough, are they actually going to show me? I don't think they're going to show it because I'm not on the ground. Basically, 28 right is is my approach uh, for Chicago. And you can see the traffic that's around us. Just have to keep an eye out for them as we fly, so it shouldn't be too bad. But I tried to set this up as realistically as possible. I use SimBrief, which lets me basically create, you know, the, this flight plan that, that I have here. This is all through SimBrief. This is exactly what, at least as far as I know, this is exactly what the real pilots would get. Your winds, your NOTAMs for your airports, your weather information for it. Um, just everything. Your approach data, your SIDs if you have them, <clears throat> all of it. So it's all here. So I do that through SimBrief and 
it makes this as as real as can be, you know. A printout of this would be in the cockpit, basically. I'd have it. Um, you know, here's my signature. Saoirse Vixen. Mr. Taylor Hood was my dispatcher for today. So, I've been trying to do this as realistically as I can, just to kind of get set the tone and, and get into that mood. And I found that it actually has increased my enjoy, enjoyability quite a bit. It makes me feel like I'm, you know, doing more than just kind of tooling from place to place. Like, I'm actually running routes and I'm actually flying the airplane, you know, so... It's, it's a, a little bit more of a level of detail for something like that. And it's just, it's, it's fantastic to me. I love it. So if you are getting into the aviation uh, or the, the flight sim uh, world, I would highly recommend looking at doing that if you want to kind of expand your airliner experience. Whether or not it works uh, as I don't want to say seamless, but as well with the stock airplanes, it does, actually. Those airplanes don't have, like, the integration where I can just automatically load it into it, but you can still use it, and you can still do it the right way. So the 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 game's flight planner is pretty okay, but if you want that extra level of realism, you know, go with something like sim brief i'm gonna try to get that sim to work pretty soon and try to do um actual atc you know when i get the opportunity i just i haven't been able to get it to work yet i don't know what's going on with that it's just it's just so weird so hopefully soon but um i did realize that uh, i did not start my my chronometer i did not stop my start my stopwatch which oops i'm learning um so uh, we're I uh, should st basically be on time so far, looking like about uh, 185 miles to go. So we'll be there before you know it. now less than 150 miles from our destination so we need to get the airplane set up for descent here pretty soon and we also need to get the approach keyed in so you can tell by if you look down here at the computer it says enter destination data which means in order for me to set up the approach for the airplane I need to put in the information for Chicago so what we're going to do is we need to get the temperature and we need to get the winds. We need to get all of that information down so we can, the airplane knows how to fly the approach. So what I'm going to do, let me get down here so I can actually look at it. I'm going to come down here, click on the menu. I'm going to go up here to Atsu, AOC menu. And we're going to say weather request. I'm sorry, uh, ATIS. We'll do weather request. We'll do a METAR. Uh, I'm going to turn these off because I don't need them. I just want uh, K-O-R-D there. So I'm going to get a METAR. METAR for Chicago. And we're going to say send. It's been sent. Back to my menu. And look up here. After a few minutes in real life, it might, it might take a little longer. But here, company message. So, Atsu, menu, received, and my METAR. Alright, so, th a bit breezy today. 320 at 14 knots, gusting to 24. 10 miles of visibility, few, so the clouds aren't too bad. Altimeter is 3029. -er. Alright, looking good. 
minus four degrees for the temperature, minus 12 for the dew point. All right, so what I do now is I'm gonna click the little print button right here. And if I look down there, look at that. It actually prints out my METAR for me, like the real airplane. When it's done, I click it, tears it right off. And now it's sitting right up here. So now I can go get my destination data set up. Come to my performance. See, right now we're in cruise. Managed at 290. I'm going to click on next phase right here. This is for descent. Next phase is the approach. Temperature. Wind. So Q in edge, this is the altimeter. Temperature below it, the wind below that. And then the trans, uh, transit altitude, which is always 18,000. Uh, my altimeter is, I saw it a minute ago, 3029er. So 30 mark 29er there. Temperature is minus 4 degrees. So negative 4 degrees there. And the winds are. 300 at 14, so 300 slash 14. Done. Full flaps for landing uh, for the config. Next phase, go around speeds are all good. Engine out there. So now we are set for our approach, and as you can see, the orange box has disappeared. We are now essentially got the airplane set up to. Uh, shoot the approach when we get there. So since it's already well in the daytime, I'm going to look up at my, come on now, up here. I'm going to go ahead and turn my integrity lights down a bit to save the bulbs. And turn the nav lights off. Beacon stays on. Strobe stays on. Those could have come up long ago. We're just going to have to let her cruise on. Uh, ELT's good. Circuit breakers are good. All right. So we are all set up. We'll be uh, descending here pretty soon, probably about 90-ish uh, miles or so. I've got my flight plan, 112 miles to go. It's so about 90 miles or so. I'm going to want to start descending. Um, maybe a little bit less. Give myself a little more time. I might be descending a little bit early, but I'm still sort of figuring that out. So... It won't be too bad though, we'll be all right. We are just now at 80 miles from our destination. The lake is there in front of us, so we're gonna go ahead and start our descent down into Chicago. Come up here and we're going to turn our seatbelt signs back on. I'm going to roll this down to 9,000 feet because that's what the approach is for over the lake. And I'm going to pull the knob towards me to make this into managed mode or to open climb mode, which you can say open descent rather. Flesh levels are idle. Open descent. And we're on the way down. You can see here in the display on the right that the arrow there in the upper left, that's the wind direction. Uh, 78 knots. It's very, very windy. I believe, that's, I believe that's knots. Don't quote me on that. But we're being pushed quite a bit. Got our altimeter set up. As we wrote down, it is 3029. Looking go. Looking good. We should be just where we want to be. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up. Get our checklist open. 
Just to make sure we are in the right place. Uh, descent checklist. We've already started. Uh, monitor as required for speed brakes. Uh, the weather radar is working. Barometric pressure is set. And at 10,000 feet. A little bit high for the... Uh, for the... Uh, to change the uh, altimeter over, but it's not too bad. It's required. Constraints are on. LS button, rad navs, identify nav, actually check. So once you get to below 10,000 feet, we'll flip on the landing lights. Let's go ahead and come over here and look at our ILS checklist. Step norm on, activate for the approach phase once we're on approach, which will be here just once we get to, I uh, believe that's MOTT, M-O-T-T-T, MOTT, that's what we're going to be doing. Armed ground spoilers. We are getting there. We're almost there. So we are set up and ready to go on this one here. I'm going to flip on my landing system. We may pick up the localizer out here. Oh, hello there. How are you? You must be going to Chicago too. Tower Delta one seven two miles east and right. Let me come down here. Go ahead and flip on my. We are in the approach phase. Still haven't picked up the localizer yet, though. We should hear shortly. Traffic alerts everywhere, but we're getting there. Whoa! That guy's having some trouble. Wow. Wow. That's fantastic. Just totally fantastic. I'm just going to kind of follow that guy as he pirouettes his, pirouettes his way down. We're on the localizer here. Looking good so far there. We are underneath the gold pip. We're going to go ahead and do one degree of one notch of flaps. We'll be passing by the city here in just a minute. Looking great so far. Looking great. Localizer looks good. We are on the glide slope, as you can see with the pink dot, with just a shade underneath it, but it's not too bad. Go and give it flaps two. And we're over speeding just a shade. But yeah, the airplane knows what I want. There's Chicago out there. So cool. Alright, we are going to arm the ground spoilers. We're going to do medium auto braking. Make sure I have them contacted yet. Good. 28 right is directly ahead. It's the one it's the one right there. Deuce right dead center is what we're looking at right now. We are just a shade above the glide slope, but it's not too bad. Looking great so far. Full flaps. Landing gear coming out.
2500. Radio altimeter has now come on. I think. Oh, hey, you just kind of appeared in front of me, didn't you? We're going to go ahead and kill the autopilot. I'm going to hand fly this one now since we are below the glide slope. There's the outer marker. Still looking good. I could let the airplane fly the approach, but I figured I'd do it myself, just to make it a little more fun. Hopefully I can do this without wrecking the damn thing. We are under, let's get a little more power. Right at it. Turn our auto throttles off. Of it. I'm also a little bit fast. Pull the power. High, but it's not bad. But I'm still gonna make it just fine. Easy does it. And full reverse thrusters. Turn! Whoa! Fixing that. Take run over to the uh Take run over to the uh the gate. Because that guy's doing a, a quick turn, he's getting right out of here. <laughs> I'm not very good at this whole taxiing thing when I can't see the damn markers. We'll just have to kind of pretend it works. Not quite how they do it in real life, but you know what? It's okay. Come on, you scooch up a little bit more. Just like that. So we'll set our parking brake. Come up here. Turn the strobe lights off. I didn't turn my landing lights on. Oops. 
No big deal, no big deal. Start the APU. Look on down here and engine one, engine two. Welcome to Chicago. Well, folks, that's going to do it for Microsoft Flight Simulator today. Thank you so much for joining me on my very first airliner adventure. I know it wasn't quite as clean or as uh, smooth or really any of those fine adjectives as other simmers have done it, but I'm getting my feet wet with it. I'm hoping to keep doing it a little more often. I don't know the best way to make it interesting. Otherwise, it's just kind of beauty shots, more or less, but... I'm sure I'll figure it out as I go along, but the more I do it, the better off I'll get at it. I'm trying to learn the procedures and, and everything as best I can, and it's going to be an adventure, and I hope that you come along with me on that. So, welcome to Chicago. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you do like what I do, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below if you enjoy the flight sim content that I'm doing. If you want to see certain scenarios or aircraft or flights or whatever it might be in the game be sure to let me know i'll be more than happy to take requests as it were and just keep doing what i'm doing to keep you guys entertained so once again thank you so much for joining me today my name is Sirisha the vixen and you guys take care <laughs>